Greetings. So, this is how I done my Death Guard Traitor Astro Militarum in the just laziest, sloppiest way I could do. You can go and look in so many different ways to do Nurgle, but this is just a nice, easy way just to chuck it on. And you can do it in whatever colors you really want, but these are the colors I've chosen. I'm going for the Heresy Green and mainly, well, white with green pauldrons look. So the Astra Miller Town will be similar. So, lead belcher, spray, everything. I always start off with a metallic because from that you can work out the corroded metals and all the rest of it because the paint is not going to be the major thing of these. The paint is just going to be a remnant on the actual armor. So, now we're going to do everything that's skin, tumors, anything meat, wounds, everything, all in Cadian flesh tone. By the way, I am not thinning my paints. I'm going straight from the tub. This is going to be one of those painting guides where I just, just yeah, I didn't care. I, I, it's just fun for fun. So. I'm chucking it on, making sure I thin it out as I'm going. Yes, that was flash that was on the cake on that one anything that is going to be flashy, wounds, anything to do with that, I am just coating, moving it all and just working it all in. It doesn't matter if you get on some of the metal, it'll go for it. Now this is Vallejo's Black Mecha Primer, which I'm doing the boots and the gun casing and the guy's gloves and hat on that commissar. The wristbands on this guy's as well. Weapon casings, they're all corroded now. I like it because it's thin and it's a very strong black. Castellan Green. This is going to be for anything that's fabric, not armor plating on the guardsman. So, not his helmet. It's going to be his trousers, his uh, sleeves, and whatnot. And the cape on the Space Marines. Well, oh, Death Guard. Gold, well, gold is basically the secondary metal color that I use because it will be dulled down into a brass. So basically pick out details with it, uh, fancy things, um, bullets, whatever you want to do, really. Um, anything that you want to stand out against the metal. You don't have to do all the tubes in it, but I, I just picked out some details just so it could shine through end of the flavor and all the rest of it. The, the Agrax shade that we're going to use is going to dull it all down to a, like a bronzy look anyway. Rhinox Hide, and this is for like belts and the helmet strapped for the Cadian here. Also the pouches and stuff like that. Also the stick, the spear, the corn red next, and we're just going to do this guy's headgear. Now I'm going to dry brush Tyrant's skull out of anything flesh. Everything flesh, and even some of the cloth as well, just to give it that definition. 
and if you get some on the metal it don't really matter you're not going to see it very well just go quite light with it and just build it up like i said over the clothes as well just give it a nice once over just to bring out the edges next for wraith bone um i'm just going to do the tank top in this one guy here the claws, any nails that are showing, this purity seal that I didn't remove, um, this hoof as well, and this uh, headpiece on the chaplain. Next, one of my favorites, Model Air uh, Vallejo, and it's a silver. And this is just good, just because it's such strong pigment, you can just do one coat of this and it will just do the job. Next, pink horror, anything that's like tentacles. Just tentacles. I just like to separate the tentacles for some reason. You don't have to. You can do them in the flashy color. Next, a spanty bone air. So it's already thinned. This stuff's brilliant for layers. Next, bang bang brown. And I'm just gonna pick up some of the hair lines on this guy just to separate it from the skin colors quickly. But we're gonna move on to Agress Earth Shade and then just wash everything. Top to bottom, every part of the model, everything. Next is Rust Effects Model Wash by Vallejo. And we're gonna do the same thing again, but mainly only on the metal colors. Try not to get so much on the flesh colors, but just try to get on all the gun casings and the metal parts, like the armor on this guardsman, his helmet and his shoulders. This guy's sword. Oh, big knife. This guy's arm. Anything metal. Gun casing. Anything like that. So next we got Park City White and it's dry paint. And we're going to just dab and bash and just mark the armor where the paint was so it looks like a, you can tell what color it used to be but it's now started to decay now don't worry if you go too overboard in one or two parts we can tone it down with the agro shade in a bit now so i did the shoulders and the helmet for the guardsman Not going overboard, leaving a lot of the metal showing, even on the Space Marines. On the Hellbrook here, you still got that, like it's faded kind of look, patchy. Build it up in some layers and be very faint in others. Now back to Corn Red. I'm just gonna just dab a little bit over this little helmet here castellan green so this is going to be like what we did with the white but we don't want it too heavy so if you go a bit heavy wipe it off you don't have to go over the top but just try and build it up in some places and make it look like the white armor Next, we've got Necron Compound. I'm just using any old brush I can get. And we're just going to do everything that's metal first. But we're also going to give one little slight knock across the green fabrics as well, just to give it a slight sheen and highlight a couple of the edges to make it look like something's 
sh like the skin, it's wet kind of greasy look like a shine to it it won't take much see just one or two swipes done I'll go overboard. Like on this cape now, we just want a couple of higher edges just to shine through a bit more. Just to make that a bit more wet looking. Anything that's metal obviously gets the treatment, that chain, corners of the green paint and stuff like that as well. It'll look, it does look great when you just take the edge off that green there. Razor rust. So this is a dry paint again, and we're just gonna go over uh, the gun casings and anything metal, um, shoulder pads, that trumpet thing he's got there, or horn mode. Anything that might need a bit of rust on it. So the black bit of this casing here. Just build it up on the corners look. Looks better on the corners on the edges. But don't go too overboard. You can bring it back down with one or two of the paints later on now but we use up this agress earth shade and this is where we can go back in now and any of the white patches which are just a touch too white or filled in a bit too much we can use the agress earth shade just to bring a bit more depth into the white armor also make sure that some of the flesh parts don't need to go a little bit darker and if we need to make a bit more of a shadow or something on some of the armor. Not giving it a heavy wash but just to break up some of the areas. So next is blood for the blood god. So we're going to use this for all the wounds and stuff like that and any trauma to the Imperial Guardsman. Now you can do the Astartes and all the rest of it, the uh, Death Guard, but I like to only use it on the Guard units because they are more new to the Plague. So they, their blood should be less corrupted. Whereas this guy now, I just put a bit on his arm just because it's pushing out and a bit out of his mouth because of the trauma. But no, with the Astaris, I tend to only put Nurgle's Rot, but you could just go and put Blood for the Blood God on them. But these now, it's anywhere where there's a wound, mutation, or something like that, that you want their trauma to. So, Wraithbone again, and a nice fine tip brush. Um, just to do the eyes. So you can always go back and clean up the Bane Blade Brown. Um, but anything that's a lens or an eye is just being painted. And yes, I put one little line in the Space Marines eye sockets on a dot for any of our eyes then what we're going to do is just tidy up with the Bainbury brown on the skin mecha primer black again and this is lovely because it's so thin and it flows really well that you can get in there and do an eye
Now this is how I do lenses for Space Marines. After the YI, I just put a nice little puddle in there. And if I need to, I can subtract some of the ink out of the socket. Make sure you have a cotton bud on hand in case you go overboard. But literally a little puddle on the brush, fill the eye socket, just pull it away straight away when you hit there. Just so you can you can always build it up, but you don't want to put too much in there. Just a little tap. There's a nice little puddle. Pull off the excess and then suction some of it off. There you go. And it'll sit there and it'll work around the eye and leave the middle a bit more exposed. I just make a little puddle on the lenses. That works just as well. All right, Rafe burn as well. I am now painting all the plasma coils. So now we've got Green Stuff World's Vomit. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. And Nurgle's Rot by Citadel. So, I'm not going to mix these together, but I'm going to alternate. So I'm going to build it, uh, build the colour up with the Nurgle's Rot. And then I'm going to add in some Vomit just to make it flow a bit more and add an extra colour to it to make it oh so more rotten. I'm going to add this to all the mutations and all the wounds and stuff like that and doing the same thing. I'm not trying to coat it with the guardsman, I'm trying to like have it pooling near the so it's kind of oozing out. So it's a transition between their blood and Nurgle starting to rot them, basically. Putting it over the tentacles as well. And also any bits of skin I decided to add here and there on the armor, mutations. On the backpacks as well, so they can leak the same kind of stuff. Um, on that bit of skin we put on that jacket, you can really see the shine of that vomit. Let me chuck it on there, nice big gloop. I go round in between a lot of the faces as well. I added a bit on that barrel as well, so it looks like it was flowing out of that. So next we've got some contrast medium and mixing it with Talisar Blue one for one. I'm not going over the top of the plasma coils on this. I could go thinner so it leaves the coils stand out a bit more but I would like a, a kind of darker tone for these to kind of contrast to the rest of them. So there we go. That's my um, really lazy fun way of painting Death Guard. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. Um, yeah. I've been asked by a few people about this and the results are quite gory. But I hope it helps. And I hope you've enjoyed because this was quite funny to do. It always is fun to do Nurgle because you can just go that extra yard and just make them look that ever so more grim. So again, hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.